Hey everyone, Face here again. Uh, not a whole lot to uh, to show for since my last update. Uh, I've gone ahead and glued the command deck ship in place and uh, sprayed another coat of primer, so I have to give it a quick uh, sanding uh, sometime today or tomorrow uh, before I uh, before I get to painting the uh, the, uh, the the main fuselage. Uh, that's not why I'm coming to you with this update though today. No, this is something I've wanted to do for quite a while and I've kind of hinted at it in a couple of previous videos. Uh, I want to get started on um, a series of tutorials, basic tutorials on how to light models using the the technique that I use. Um, so uh, let's get started. So first of all, I want to talk a little bit about one of my favorite tools. Uh, this is called a wire wrapping tool. I know it looks like a, a precision screwdriver, but uh, it's it's a tool specifically designed for uh, for wiring electronics with uh, with simple um, simple wire. Um, it's uh, it has a, a built-in wire stripper uh, in the in the in the one end. You can just slide the cap off and uh, it it hides inside so you can never lose it it's designed for this specific type of wire uh, it's 30 gauge called kynar wire it's a solid core very sturdy steel wire um, but it's very very thin um, I've never had any significant difficulty working with it but um, um, you know, because it is so thin, it's such a fine gauge, uh, it can break if you're not careful with it. Um, anyway, back back to the tool. You can find these at, uh, at Radio Shack, or if you're in Canada, uh, like I am, um, the Radio Shack has recently been rebranded as The Source. Um, I actually had a little trouble tracking one of these down. Uh, I, had to, I had to hit about four different stores to find it. But... Um, I finally was able to, and it was absolutely indispensable. I have used wire wrap uh, techniques on pretty much every light lit model I have done since uh, since my uh, my Star Destroyer. So, enough about that. Let's uh, let's talk a little bit about how this thing works. Here, I'm going to clip off a short length of wire here. Set that aside. As I said, there is a uh, a wire stripper right in the end of it, and since it is it is designed specifically for this type of wire, it fits perfectly. Um, so you first off, you take about an inch or so off of the end and just slide it into the uh, the stripper and slide it uh, slide the insulation off. There you've got one inch of exposed wire. Now. In the end of the tool, I don't know if you can quite make that out, but um, there's a hole in the center, and then there's a little notch off to one side. What you do is you take the wire and you insert it into the end of the tool, into the notch, not into the hole. It has to go into the notch so that it's off center. While the, uh, you can see there, it's in the, uh, the little slot off center from the, uh, the hole. Uh, then you take the uh, the resistor or the LED or whatever device it is that you're connecting. It inserts into the hole in the center, and then simply twist. And that is what you end up with. It's uh, it's very solid. It's very stable. Uh, but it is recommended that uh, you insulate with something. Um, I usually use a heat shrink tubing. Uh, I don't know if I have any kicking around, but um, uh, the heat shrink tubing will actually basically hold it in place so that A, it won't slide off, uh, and B, won't, uh, the wire won't break. Um, so that's that's basically that that's really all there is to uh, to say about that. If um, if you're not happy with the the results that you get, if uh, if your your wire breaks or 
it's not uh, not secure. You can just before you close it up, you can just slide it right off the end and uh, and and try it again. Um, and there you go. Um, it's an absolutely handy little tool. Um, I couldn't live without it. So I plan to go into a little more detail in uh, future videos. This I just wanted to give like a, a kind of an introductory uh, lesson on um, the wire wrapping tool and why it's awesome and why you should get one. <laughs> um, but uh, at the moment I just kind of need some more supplies. I need to get some new connectors. I'm uh, uh, waiting for a batch of LEDs to come in the mail, which I'm hoping will be here inside of a couple days. Um, some more resistors, more connectors, some gator clips, etc. Um, but uh, those I can go out and pick up pretty much at any time. Uh, so, um, aside from the LEDs, yeah, I'll be able to... Um, I do have a few, uh, unfortunately, of the wrong color for this project, so I won't be able to use them for it, but I can at least use them to set up some uh, sample circuits to kind of show off uh, how to set up a series or a parallel circuit or multiple parallel circuits um, running off of a single power supply. So stay tuned for that. Uh, should be coming in the next few days. And uh, uh, in the meantime, go out and buy a wire wrapping tool. I don't care if you do electronics or not, go out and buy one. They're awesome. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned and happy modeling.